I'm John Batchelor, and this is the John Batchelor Show. April 12th, 1961, 50 years ago, Yuri Gagarin, this man, a Russian cosmonaut, was launched into space, surprising the whole world because he beat the Americans. The Americans were hoping for a suborbital flight from Cape Canaveral, Alan Shepard, and it would happen within several weeks, but Yuri Gagarin wins, not only wins, but he launches into a low Earth orbit, an orbitable flight, goes around, takes more than an hour. He lands, but not as we originally thought, as we were told in 1961. He's, he didn't land in his spacecraft. That was a steel ball about two meters across. He was a diminutive person, about five feet two. He jammed himself in there. And when he was coming down, he climbed out of the of the ball, it was floating down on a, on a uh, uh, parachute, and he parachuted to Earth. That was April 12, 1961. The significance is first man in space. Here we are 50 years later, and the irony, as I learned from Bob Zimmerman, my colleague and correspondent on manned space and robot space, is that here, 50 years later, the announcement from NASA that it is not only closing down the shuttle program, we know that, but they've assigned the three remaining shuttle aircraft, uh, shuttle spacecraft to museums, one in Washington, one in Florida, one in California, and the mock-up of, of the one of the crafts to come to a museum in New York. So, 50 years after the first man in space, 30 years after the first shuttle flight, which was right now, 30 years ago, shuttle is slow, uh, sh closing down, Manned space for NASA is closing down, and the frontier that Jack Kennedy launched us on in the 1960s is shut, shut finally for this American, uh, for the Obama administration, and for the foreseeable future at NASA. I'm John Batchelor, and Yuri Gagarin, first man in space forever, a thousand years from now, first man in space. This is the John Batchelor Show. Good day.